the Smash roster is one of my favorite parts of the entire Smash Bros series, with the inclusions of new fighters every installment. Never knowing who the next fighter is going to be, some fighters don't make it in, either being deconfirmed from me costumes, assist trophies, or other fighters from a third party company taking the spot. As well as a few other reasons, welcome to a new foes appeared, where we talk about ideas for fighters that could be possibly happen in Smash 6, if not the future. I'm your host BB8 from BB8's house as always, let's get into it, up next. Hey there YouTube lovers, welcome back to a new foe has appeared. Today's foe is going to be, wait a minute, what's going on? Something must be happening here. <laughs> Did you miss me? Wait, wait, BB9A, it's been years since I've even showcased you on the channel. Yeah, it's about time your old rival finally steals the show. But why? I'm trying to go ahead with a new Foes Appeared episode here. Can you get out of here for one second? Well, it's spooky month again, and I've waited a long time for this. Wait, what are you trying to do? This is my event called the Villain Takeover, meaning every foe coming within the month of October is going to be a villain. Wait, a villain? Wait, no! My foe was supposed to be somebody else today! Is that clear? Haha! <laughs> Looks like you're gonna have to save them for November! Alright, BB9A. We have a deal. You introduce who the foe is, and I do the movesets. Is that understood? Fine. I'll only make my appearance for the intro. And if you wanna know who it is, take a look at this. Dr. Cortex, we haven't determined the cause of past failures! <laughs> Moron! This bandicoot will be my general, and he will lead my Cortex commandos to world domination! This time, I shall reign triumphant! We are closer than ever before! Quickly, into the vortex! Dr. Cortex, <laughs> the Vortex is not ready! We have no idea what it could do! <laughs> Failure again! <laughs> Capture him! Uh-oh! That's right! Dr. Neo Cortex from Crash Bandicoot is the first of the six villains being showcased in the villain takeover. Alright, BB9A, now that you've introduced your villain, can you get out of here so I can cover the character? Alright, Dr. Neo Cortex from Crash Bandicoot is who we are going to talk about today. And before I was rudely interrupted by BB9A, I did have a different foe in mind for today. But I guess, and since BB9A just came in to make his first appearance in years, we might as well just do what he wants and do the villain takeover for Spooky Month of 2024. So, without further ado, let's get into it, shall we? For the move set, the neutral special, we have Plasma Blaster. Cortex fires a green plasma shot from his iconic ray gun. The projectile travels at medium speed and deals moderate damage, but has high knockback when charged. You can charge the, the attack by holding the button similar to Samus's charge shot. When fully charged, the shot travels faster and deals more damage. Uncharged, it shoots rapidly but does less damage and knockback. For the side special, we have Hoverboard Dash. Cortex hops onto his hoverboard, speeding forward a for a set distance. The hoverboard can be tilted slightly upward 
or downward during the dash, allowing for some aerial mobility. If Cortex crashes into an opponent, they take damage and are launched backward. Holding the button allows you to charge it for more distance and power, but leaves him vulnerable if time falling. And for the up special, we have Jetpack Escape, where Cortex equips his backpack, allowing him to fly a short distance upward. You can direct in any direction, giving him excellent recovery options, and the jetpack exhaust leaves behind a trail of damaging flames. So opponents close to Cortex will take minor damage, and the attack has limited range, but good potential and vertical coverage. And after the boost, Cortex will fall into freefall. For the down special, we have Nitro Crate Trap. Cortex drops a Nitro Crate that remains stationary on the battlefield. The crate explodes on contact with either the opponent or Cortex, dealing heavy damage but also putting him at risk if misused. The trap persists for a short while if untouched, and Cortex can only place one at a time, and pressing the down special again will detonate the crate manually, allowing for strategic traps. And finally, for the final smash, we have Mecha Bandicoot Assault. Cortex summons his Mecha Bandicoot from Crash to Insanity, and he rides it into the battle, unleashing rockets, plasma beams, and a large sweeping flamethrower across the stage. Players caught in the onslaught are hit by multiple explosive hits, and the final smash finishes with a massive laser blast that launches all nearby opponents. For the alts, the default alt we have Cortex in his classic yellow skin, white lab coat, and black N hairpiece. For the second ult, we have Purple Cortex, where Cortex's yellow skin turns a deep purple with a blue coat and black hair. For the third ult, we have Red Cortex with a red lab coat with dark burned orange skin and fiery hair. For the fourth ult, we have Green Cortex, where Cortex's skin takes a sicky green colour with a dark green lab coat, and for the fifth alt we have blue cortex as his skin becomes light blue with a metallic silver coat for a futuristic look. For the sixth alt we have Uka Uka Cortex, inspired by Uka Uka's colours, and Cortex's skin becomes a glowing orange with a black lab coat and tribal markings. For the seventh alt, we have Robot Cortex. Cortex takes on a more robotic appearance with silver skin and a glowing red visor. And for the eighth alt, we have Entropy Cortex. As Cortex adopts colors inspired by Entropy with dark blue skin and a bronze and blue coat. For the classic mode route, we have Mad Genius Bad science, as Cortex's classic mode will focus on fighting other villains, mad scientists, and characters using technology or magic. The battles ramp up in complexity and chaos. For round one, we have Dr. Mario. Round two, we have Bowser Jr. Round three, we have Wolf. Round four, we have Rob. Round five, we have Wario. Round 6 we have Ganondorf, and for the boss fight, we have Master Hand and Crazy Hand. And for the stage, we have Cortex's Castle. A stage set in Cortex's Castle with various hazards and nods to the Crash Bandicoot series. The battlefield consists of three platforms floating above a long main platform with rotating gears, laser traps, and falling debris from failed experiments. Occasionally, nitro crates appear on the stage, forcing players to avoid them 
or use them strategically. And every so often, Cortex's blimps appear in the background and his loyal henchmen make cameos. So guys, what did you think of Dr. Neo Cortex? So, don't forget- Wow, 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 wow! Hold it right there, BB-8! That's not the end of the villain takeover. Dr. Neo Cortex may have been the first, but we still have five more to go. Every Tuesday in October, and Halloween Thursday. So get out of here, BB9. I'm trying to close the video here. I'm just saying, and this isn't the last you'll hear from me. I will be back next Tuesday when I'm not a villain. Alright, so don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and turn your notification bell on so you don't miss another video like this one. And I will see you all in a future episode of A New Foes Appeared. If BB9E doesn't interrupt, BB8 out. <laughs>